Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. Hi, in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, creating symbols and instances. Now explaining symbols and instances before we get uh, an actual see what they do is a little tough. So let's go and make something, convert it into uh, a symbol and then work with the instances to uh, really demonstrate what it does. It's about keeping file size down um, is one of the big reasons. So we're going to create a new HTML5 canvas. I'm going to save this one. I'm going to save it into this one. It's going to be called 19A. 19A is remember just my uh, sequence that I'm using for my videos and I'm going to call this one Symbols Instances Great, so first thing I do, I'm going to change my we're going to be drawing a little space alien I'm not sure why, but a spacey kind of blue for the background, great. We're gonna draw with, we draw with the pencil tool before, now we're gonna draw with the paintbrush tool. The difference is, is that this one here, the paintbrush tool, actually paints around with strokes. This one here, very similar to the pencil tool, and um, we're gonna use the brush tool. This brush tool paints with fills. Okay, so we're gonna kind of like fill in the center mass of our little alien. I'm gonna pick a fill color, make sure there's no stroke. And brush size, okay, you can see it probably starts off down here where it's quite thin. Um, and I'm going to crease it up so it's quite big, even thicker than that. Okay, maximum size. So can it go any bigger? No, that's about it. Okay, that's big enough size for me. And the smoothing is at 50, just means it's gonna kind of, watch this when I let go, it just eases off the edges here. Actually, I'm gonna go to 100. Yeah, try and make it uh, look as nice as I can. So I'm gonna draw a little alien. Uh, Okay, it's pretty exciting. Now I could go and paint this all in, but I could use the fill, okay, the paint bucket tool here. It's gonna fill the same color, just fill that center in, and go back to my paintbrush. There's a little gap there. Okay, I'm gonna give it little antennas. I'm gonna give him some feet, and I'm gonna give him an eye. I'm gonna paint straight over the top. Am I gonna use the circle tool? No, I'll use the paintbrush tool all the way through. I'm gonna draw a circle. And I should be drawing it separately, okay, and drawing this on afterwards, but I'm not. I'm gonna grab that color, black, just give him the center, let's go back to white, let's give him this little sparkle. Hello. Okay, so little alien y thing. Okay, next thing I want to do is I'd like to convert him into a symbol. Why are we gonna do this? I'm gonna select them all and transform them, make them smaller, because he's a bit big at the moment, because I want lots of them on the page. So I'm gonna go to my free transform tool. Yours might be hidden under the gradient transform tool, because we used that earlier in the course. So you might have to click and hold it, hold, hold, and grab the free transform tool. What key do I hold down to reshape it? The height and width sticks, that's right, shift. Okay, and I'm gonna drag it down so he's a bit more a smaller part of this um, document here. I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. And what I want to do is I want to use them loads and loads. And what I could do is I could copy and paste them. So go to edit, copy and edit, paste. Okay, and I could keep pasting these ones and have lots of them. The problem with it with Adobe Animate is that it's gonna be, um, the computer's not gonna see them as the same. They're gonna be separate things. And they're gonna be, say this one here is one kilobyte. This one here is gonna make it two kilobytes and three kilobytes. It's gonna kind of multiply by how many times you paste it. So what we wanna do is use a trick where we use something called a symbol and an instance. So what we do is we select them all, okay, and we go up to here to modify, and we go this one that says convert to symbol. Okay, and um, most of the time we're gonna use this one called a movie clip, so make sure it's set to movie clip and nothing else. We're gonna name it, okay, it's really common as well, call it MC at the beginning, then underscore, okay, so MC is for movie clip. You don't have to add this, but it's really helpful later on when you're trying to work out who is what. Okay, so movie clip underscore, and then call this one alien, and actually no, I'm gonna call him Bob. And so he, what's happened now is that he's been converted into what's called a symbol. And that symbol only exists in your library here. So I've switched to my library and there is MC Bob. Okay, so he sits in my library. And now there's one instance of Bob 
on my desktop here. It's like a parent and child relationship. So in my library is the symbol, he's the parent. The one that are on my stage here are the children or they're called instances. And the cool thing about it is you can drag by dragging this little icon here, the little gear icon, okay? You can drag out lots of instances of Bob. Now the difference between what we did before um, from copying and pasting is that um, what Adobe Animates are able to do is that it can reference the same, so it loads Bob, okay, MC Bob um, as this uh, as a symbol, and say it is, let's say it's three kilobytes for um, argument's sake. Now it's able to replicate MC Bob as instances of them, um, loads and loads of times without multiplying how big the three kilobytes from Bob. So it'll be very minimal in terms of, I could put a hundred of these out here, and it wouldn't be multiplying that three kilobytes over and over again. That's one of the big reasons we have these things called symbols and their instances on the stage. There's a couple of things we can do to instances because at the moment they look very samey. So there's some things we can do to it and there's the things we can't do to it. So we can rotate it, change the color, change how the transparency, we can do that, no problem. And um, because it's essentially the same thing with a little bit of a filter on top. What we can't do is we couldn't have um, one of the aliens looking like this and another one with a moustache, another one with a hat. Why? Because they are physically different. You'd need different symbols in here. So the instances can only be like topically changed when they're on the stage. Now, when we'd use a symbol and instance, um, there's a couple of things. Uh, obviously when it's being used more than once, so even if it's just twice, okay, we're gonna have this big limit when we get to publishing in terms of file size. It's about 150 kilobytes. And that's a real big pain if you're using images. So we're gonna try and use as much as we can or reuse some of these symbols to keep the file size down. So that's one use. The other reason we'd use a uh, um, movie clip um, or the symbol and instance is that um, we have to use it when we're doing a classic tween and doing animations in the next video. So if we wanna animate anything that's not a shape tween like we did any, uh, earlier, wanna move them across the screen, um, we have to use this one. So there's, you pretty much everything gets converted into a symbol, um, but these are the perks that keeps the file size down. All right, let's go to the next video where we look to adjust these guys um, to make them look a little bit more unique. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, how did I? Good YouTube people.